Steady as she goes, Bob. Snappy visitors get mad in the eye by and by. Oh, weep, gron, oh, weep, mini, Bob. Welcome back to the Tidy Room Hangar. This is Mike, and I'm coming at you with the MS24 Recyclers from the Mechanic Studio or the McFans Toys. And I do have to say that this is a pretty cool, interesting little figure and a pretty decent little price point around the $30 to $40 mark. Now, I did get this at Show Z. You can get yours there too. I'll have a link down below. But let's get into looking at this guy and see kind of how he stacks up next to all the other rec cars that I've got and all the other Legends figures out there. Coming up. First off, taking a quick look at the packaging, and it's typical packaging you get from Fans Toys or Mechanic Studio, and all artwork on the front and the sides, and you have the actual product of the figure on the back, showing all of the equipment that it comes with, the alt mode, and all that kind of stuff. So, kind of fun, decent, ah, gets the job done. All right, so getting into this, we're going to look at all of his plethora of accessories first, because he does come with quite a bit, and of course he does come with this green box, he's got this, which is usually... I don't know, some, sometimes uses an axle or something like that. That's kind of cool, too. Uh, but not, not in this case. It's just a straight-up weapon. And then he has his gun. And he's got these other two pieces over here. So looking at his gun, it, it looks pretty good. It gets the job done. Looks like a nice little Rekkar gun. It's just all cast in black, and there's no paint on it whatsoever. Same with the little axle piece or whatever this really is that he uses. And it seems like he always gets this for his accessory. His wheels are not accessories. They are pinned on. They do not come off, or if they do, it's more force than I'm willing to do, or willing to put, or willing to take. Now they all plug into this, I guess it's a 3mm port. Uh, the green box, which I forget what it's called, but it shows he can hold it, and he can hold it. So, a little transmitter box or whatever. Um, every Rekgar or third party seems to come with that, so there's something to it. And let's take a look at these other two accessories. He has a sword, which is a nice shiny silver sword, which is really cool. and. Having all these accessories, if you buy a couple of these, because a lot of people are probably going to buy multiples of these, uh, you have some different options to display them, so they can all have something different going on. Then you got this little repair welder piece that they use. I think they use that on uh, Ultra Magnus or something like that. So, lots of cool accessories. Really does kind of work really well and kind of gets the job done. All right, so let's have a look at this guy here. And overall, I do think that he looks good. So, starting at the head there it is so it, it his head looks really good it's super duper tiny and with it being so tiny yeah, it goes out of focus you got the the little mustache the goatee kind of stuff going on uh works out and it looks pretty good it's just painted on there more or less i don't know if that's engraved into it his eyes are painted the top of that's painted so good looking head sculpt right there now th for the most part it's bare plastic all over it but he is this is painted right here we have paint accents down here, and it's just enough to make it have a little pizzazz to it, but still kind of look like it's from a junk planet. I mean, even on the back, we got some fire paint right here, uh, some paint on the handlebars. So I'm looking really good overall. Just nice looking figure. Now, I do want to point out that these are pinned in here, and I think it did that in the accessories. So that was a surprise to me. So you don't really have the options on where to put it. But then again, there's not any kibble to have to connect it or holes or anything. So that's pretty cool, too. Now, there is a little, like, this is like a design, like, designed in to have those slots. But on the back, we do see the mushroom peg, and we do see a hole in there. So, I mean, overall, still really, really, really a clean looking figure. A Legends figure. It looks nice. So a lot of time Legends get passed and stuff for stuff like this. But uh, let's quickly articulation. Head side to side. Up and down. So he can actually look pretty far down. It's just a mushroom peg though. Uh, shoulder goes out to here. And um, a little past the 90. And then of course you got the 360. And this is a problem. Uh, if you maneuver them, you got to kind of hold that chest in place. Because... Part of the transformation, you lift this chest up, and it wasn't a big deal until I once transformed it, and when I'm transforming it once, now it's kind of loosened up. There is a little notch that's supposed to hold it in place. This is the worst part of the figure, is the way the chest pops up too easy, but that's not that big of a deal, actually. Okay, you do have some bicep uh, swivel there. You have a double-jointed elbow. Uh, part of the transformation, though, but hey, if it's part of the transformation, it gives them better movement. That's okay. Uh, waist swivel. And then we have uh, we have an actual dedicated thigh swivel. It goes out to the 90 right there. Everything you need. 
he's like quadruple jointed here. <laughs> and then you do have more or less a double joint at the knee for transformation and all of that. And then the foot's on a on a ball, so ball and socket. So overall, enough articulation that you would need. Nothing too extreme, and definitely you're not lacking really in any area in articulation or aesthetic. He looks good. So here he is compared to a lot of the movie characters that I have. So looking at this, so you see that we've got in the back here, this is McFansoy's care oversize of the magic square. This is the actual magic square. I don't think we need them any bigger than that. This is their version, the McFans Toys or Mechanic Studio version of Hot Rod or Rodimus. That's supposed to be the Rodimus. This is Springer version one. They've got a two coming out. This is a McFans Toys version of Cup. It's a KO oversize of DX9, 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 and Magic Square. So you got to get an idea how he looks with all these Legends guys you might want to display him with. All right, so here he is compared to a bunch of different Rek Gars. If you are a Rek Gar fan, then you're probably just living in it. This is a good time for you. So uh, in the back, this is the Power of the Primes version. Then this one is the newly released or relatively newly released mainline version. Straighten his chest out there. And that's a Voyager one. This one here is the thrilling 30, 30th anniversary, which I think looks the worst. And this is KFC, which I think is the best. It's still the best of the best of the best, but it's like four times the price of most of these that are on this table here. And vintage, I mean, you gotta have the vintage, so nice looking red card. There's also the Super 7 one coming that does not transform. And that thing looks really cool too. And here's how he sizes up and scales next to Optus, Optus Prime and Megatron. Looks good. It's about how he is. Uh, probably like a head shorter. Maybe these are Magic Square, so maybe he's the same exact size as the New Age. Optimus Prime and Megatron. Okay, so let's get this guy transformed up, take off all of his stuff here, and we're going to lift his arms up, pull his head out. So these shoulders, like I said, this is part of the reason that the shoulders are kind of loose. So we're going to kind of flip, flip this uh, windshield piece out. We're going to flip it all the way around. And I think that we need to put it backwards for the head. And we can pull this stuff out here, and I think this has to flip around too. So we're going to fold this. This is all going to fold in. But you also want to separate this before you put the head in to get the seat out. So this separates right here. Seat slides out. Then the head will go into the little cavity. Like so. And then you can put it back together. And then this piece over the top fold the handlebars down so you kind of have that little section done so pretty interesting unique little transformation okay we can fold these out now we're going to be doing some stuff with these arms so you can fold the arms in and we're going to end up folding around folding this around we're going to tab these in interesting too because the spikes there's a little spiky piece i guess I didn't point that out they, they point to the inside. You flip the hands around like this so you don't see like the opening part of the hands. Now all this is going to fold around with this like so. And then we're going to get into the legs. So pretty interesting how that's going. Okay, so with the legs, the legs are pretty much you're going to rotate them around and rotate them around, I guess, from the back side of the top side it's gonna look like this you can see there's a little tab right here that's gonna tab into the wheel into this wheel house and then it's going to flip around like so now you want to get these feet uh, maneuvered like this there's the feet and there's also a tab here and a slot there to tab those in and you can fold this around before you do that, though, there is something kind of interesting with you. You have these pieces here that fold out. And then so basically what you're going to do with this is you're going to fold all this together. And these tabs are going to go into the hands that are already right there. So I'm going to get that going. Tab this in like so. And this one in like so. And... At this point, you're going to manipulate these uh, joints. 
since they are double jointed for the transformation so that everything kind of lines up right and then you can also flip this piece here up but just messing with the joints and stuff to get all that right let me see here tab that back in so they kind of like to come untabbed a bit and then we can flip this piece here up tab that in and mess around with a little bit now here we can flip these side pieces back is saddlebags also this little tab right here and a slot on the toe of the foot you got to get that tabbed in too so there that solidifies it just a little bit more back you basically have it in in place just uh, messing with these joints to get everything to collapse in and look a little bit sleeker is kind of what where it kind of gets me so uh yeah, overall, not bad. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this guy. All right, so here it is in the alt mode, and it does look pretty good. It looks like a good Junkion, Rekgar-ish type of alt mode, a giant hand syndrome. I've got it zoomed in because this thing is just so tiny. So anyway, looking at this, uh, it's got paint all over. Some of the stuff you really didn't see so much in the bot mode, now you can see it more in the alt mode. So yeah, it looks great. It actually does look really good. So... Uh, with that, we still got the silver that really is highlighted in the exhaust. Uh, we got some more silver paint here, here, here. That's like a charcoal. And here, and then in the front. So you can see all that good stuff. Looks pretty good. Now, one of the downsides, it doesn't really... The wheels, that one rolls. This one, it seems like these little uh, spikes that I didn't point out in bot mode, they make it hard for this wheel to roll. I I'm sure you could fiddle with it, get it just right, find that sweet spot. But... I don't know how. I just it's rubbing on those spikes, so a little downside there. But overall, I mean, I'm not going to be slot racing these things or anything. So he does look pretty good. He's got some paint accents. He gets the job done. It works. And I don't have a copy of him to write himself, so we'll just do some comparisons on it. So I'm going to start with comparisons with just some rec guards I have lying around, and this is the new Hasbro Voyager version Studio Series. And this one is a 30th anniversary one, which this one is just really not intuitive of a transformation at all. It's just kind of like, you don't really know if you're sticking everything the way it should. Anyway, I think this transformation is better than that one, and that thing's like a decade old, so, or longer. Anyhow, that's how he stacks up. They're all different styles. None of these look exactly the same, and I actually think that's kind of cool. Uh, I think that when you look at a Junkion, they're all made out of different junk spare parts. No two Junkions should actually be exactly the same. So this is Magic Scores Cosmos, and then their McFans toys, Blitzwing, looking good, that works. Uh, Scale-wise, I mean, nothing's really going to scale. You want the bot modes to scale together, alt modes, no chance. And this is how it compares to Iron Trans, Iron Factory, and I believe that was the first New Age Flipper, I believe. New Age Flipper, because I think they did a better job in alt mode than Magic Score did. So this has been my look at the Mechanic Studio or McFans Toys MS24 Recyclers, and it's a really good figure. Overall, I like the way it looks. It's got some paint access here and there, and it really does look like Rekkar. It really does pull off the junkie on look. Both modes look pretty good. The alt mode is a little stockier than I'd like, but still, it still works. It works. It's fine. It's great. And I think a lot of people are going to be wanting multiples of these, and I don't see it being a bad thing that they put out multiple different versions. So it would be really easy to change the head and a couple of parts and swap it out will be awesome if they do that and you have a nice little junkie on shelf for a pretty decent price and the downside of this uh the chest does like to kind of pop up when you manipulate them uh, because of the transformation how that operates but it's still not that big of a deal because once you want to get them in a pose or something you just snap the chest back in place that was like the worst thing i found on this figure overall i think it's great it looks good i'm excited for it if you want to Get yours on the link down below. It shows you where you can get yours also. And I really hope they do more of these characters coming up. Like, subscribe. Take your finger out. Stop me. No welcome, Wagonello Stranger, with that good coffee flavor for you. <laughs> Offer expires while you wait. Operators are standing by. Oh, 